Hello everybody, welcome back to LEGO Empire. In today's video, we're going to be going over my battle pack set ideas. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, number one, we are number three, I guess, because we're going to number one. Um, number three, we have a really, really nice clone battle pack. Um, I saw this, it was kind of just randomly put together um, from Reddit. And I don't, I'm not going to give credit to the person who made this, because it wasn't really anything they made, it was just kind of things that already existed slapped onto a picture so yeah I don't even know who made it I just saw it on Google images to be honest but it looks really nice okay honestly they probably switch out like the cannon for a more accurate looking cannon and probably recolor the speeder or something um you know obviously but the minifigures for this side just absolutely flawless mm, it just it makes me want to I don't know but I really want this battle pack um, comes with a Coruscant card, which we haven't got in LEGO in a while, we only got it in one set. Plus some regular Phase 2s, which, funny, funny enough, we only got it in like one actual set. And another figure that we only got in one set, the Yellow 212 Trooper. What a, th this battle pack is full of rare stuff, um, but this stuff shouldn't be rare. Maybe the 212 should be rare, but the other stuff should not be rare. Um, anyway, that was more of a just kind of random clone battle pack that'd be cool to have. Now let's get into the real juicy stuff, the real concepts that were made. First, I'll show you the Shock Trooper, uh, 2020 style Shock Trooper that was rendered, um, I believe, by someone on Reddit. I don't know exactly where I found this, but it looks really nice. It's in that new 2020 Clone Trooper style, and it looks amazing. Oh, obviously, white arms, because that's what LEGO's been doing with clones, because it's more accurate. And I think it looks really, really nice. This would go in that battle pack we just talked about. And yeah, now let's get into the second best battle pack here which would be like a Jedi Fallen Order based battle pack. Um, so it's like a new Imperial battle pack, right? I have it come with like a Purge Trooper or two, probably preferably two Purge Troopers, and then one um, Incinerator Trooper or whatever they're called, like the Flame Troopers of the Empire, which, cause they look really nice. I don't know if they're in Jedi Fall Fallen Order, but it's a really cool Imperial Troop that we need in LEGO 100%. And maybe they could also include like a regular Storm Trooper with those three figures, and that would go for 20 bucks. And um, for like a side build, it could be like a little walker or, um, you know, it's just a speeder or something. Something basic, right? We don't need anything too complex when the minifigures are that good. Um, anyway, let's get into the, the real juicy battle pack of this video. The one that has like fully customized things. Like, they really worked hard on this, right? So this is the wolf pack battle pack, basically. They didn't make it a battle pack, they, which made it kind of a $30 set to collect all like the wolf pack troopers. But... This would be an amazing battle pack if there weren't any named characters. So this is like half battle pack, half kind of just a really good set. But it comes with a new Plo Koon with arm printing and everything. Looks amazing right there. Same head mold though, but you know, the head mold already looks great. So there's no reason to really improve it that much. Um, we also have Commander Wolf in his phase 2 form. Looking very snazzy there. And um, two 104th troopers and one regular phase 2. So I think if this was released, it would be absolutely amazing. The wolf pack troopers, they're super duper cool, and a new Plo Koon figure, why not? Also, you could army build those phase 2 clone troopers, and then you could probably just sell your extra Plo Koons, or give them to people, you know, you don't really want those extra Plo Koons, you only want one, um, but you could also sell them for people that don't want to buy the battle pack and just want Plo Koon or something like that, which I don't know who wouldn't want to buy this battle pack, but yeah, this battle pack is looking pretty insane, all the figures are looking great, all updated in the 2020 style. And yeah, um, this, there's a water rock on each image, so you know who made this. Daily Bugle photo guy. Credits to him for this. Looks absolutely outstanding. And yeah, I could not, I could not even contain myself with this on shelves. I'd buy like 10. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's aside, aside the point. Anyway, this, this is just, okay, these battle packs are like top notch, right? I hope we get some sort of Imperial battle pack for Andor, like I mentioned in my um, kind of leak video a couple days ago. And if you didn't notice, or if you didn't watch yesterday's video, you wouldn't notice, but the Purge Trooper and the Incinerator Trooper I already talked about in yesterday's video of minifigures I'd want to see in LEGO, but I thought I could talk about a battle pack with them as well, because that'd be the way to kind of introduce them, probably. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, to leave a like on the video, and tell me your thoughts on this below. Um, I want to know what battle packs you want to see, and if you agree with any of the ones on this list. With that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out.